What's happening, YouTube? Jeff Robbins here, back with episode eight, Dino Tune in the Briggs LO206. It's been kind of a busy couple weeks. Um, I actually opted to do this video versus some service work on my own engine. I was gonna pull the head off and check the valves, but we've got a race this week and I just don't think I'll have time. And this engine right here, I actually built from the ground up from a short block. Really excited to see what this thing's gonna do this weekend out of the track. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do some lash testing. We're gonna move the exhaust valve, leave the intake valve at a static setting of two thousands and see what the results are. So let's go ahead and let's get on the dyno.
Okay, so the exhaust lash testing is complete. I've got some bad news that I'm going to share with you guys, but let's let's take a quick look at the, the 10 thousandths lash test that I did. Go ahead and open that and zoom in. So if we're looking at this, I saw a peak horsepower of 8.15, and this was the best test that I seen out of all all six dyno pulls that I did 8.15 was the highest horsepower I saw um, and unfortunately let me pull up the spreadsheet here real quick we've been seeing pretty low horsepower essentially with all the lash testing that I've been doing pretty much ever since the float height testing it appears that uh, this engine's been pretty down on power and I was thinking that it was because the oil was heating up, causing the low results. Um, I found with two strokes that once that oil gets heated up, that that I start losing the, the, the horsepower. And that just might not be the case with these lower horsepower rigs. I mean, with no lash, I saw eight. With two thousands, it dropped down to 7.72. Jumped back up to eight got 8.09 for six thousandths and then 8.15 for both eight thousandths and ten thousandths so I wasn't happy with these results at all so once I saw this um, I immediately pulled the head off the engine and sure enough um, did the Robbins racing flashlight test on it and the exhaust valve was leaking pretty bad so I'm thinking that's kind of been skewing the results so I'm not sure what I want to do I may nut up and just redo all the lash testing and after each each test maybe I go ahead and just uh, make sure the top ends fresh and do that before um, I move on to the next one so I, I almost feel like I need to redo the tandem lash the intake lash and the exhaust lash just so we can get some some decent results here because um, I'm not happy with this at all we've we've got a race in two days so I did go ahead and I fixed the exhaust valve. I, I cut the seat, lapped it up, and I've got it sealed up tight now. But unfortunately, um, I did all this testing before checking that. So that's definitely my fault. I haven't, I haven't pulled the head off this engine since the float height testing. So I've done the, the tandem lash, intake lash, and exhaust lash. Um, and we've done, I think, three races in that time as well. So I've definitely beat the engine up and unfortunately I think that's kind of skewed our results here. So I don't know, I'm, I think I might just go ahead and redo all these lash videos and um, see if we can get ourselves some better results. But this is what it came out to guys. Um, pretty much basically all the same, all within 0.15 of a horsepower and that exhaust valve was just leaking pretty good and, and on top of that I do not think that this engine likes two thousandths on the intake so maybe what I'll do is when I redo the intake lash video and the exhaust lash video I run two and six so maybe when I do the exhaust I set uh, the intake at two thousand or excuse me six thousandths and then when I do the intake um, keep this at two thousandths just like I run Maybe that'll give us a little bit better results, but yeah, sorry about that guys. Unfortunately, we've got some pretty terrible results here, but um, definitely didn't want to hide anything from you guys. So here's the results from the most recent exhaust last testing that I did. Okay guys, so first round of exhaust lash testing is complete. So we've done tandem lash, intake lash, and exhaust lash. Uh, like I mentioned in the data review, I'm definitely disappointed in the results, at least for the intake and the exhaust lash testing. So I've decided I am going to redo that. And what I'll do is I'll make sure the head's nice and fresh before each of those sessions. And then I'll make a couple of uh, short videos and post the results. I'll also put the results in the spreadsheet so that you guys can see that. And we'll actually get a kind of see, I guess we'll see um, the difference between a sealed up head and one that's got a leaking exhaust valve. Um, kind of an unfortunate consequence, but so my head is all sealed up. I pulled it off. I cut the exhaust valve, lapped it up, 
got two days before this race and I just didn't feel comfortable sending this thing out. Having the thought in the back of my head that this engine might be down on power, um, it just wasn't sitting well. So I went ahead and I did that service. Sorry I didn't have time to film it. I kind of had to scramble to get it done. But one thing I didn't mention uh, when I was doing the data review is that that short block that I built, when I had it on the dyno, it pulled substantially more horsepower than my engine. And that's kind of what led me to believe I may have an issue with my engine. So I'm glad I got that fixed up. So we should be good to go this weekend. But the next video, we're going to take a look at this guy right here. And this was donated to me by a guy out at the track. Really appreciate that. So what I'll do is I'll actually rebuild this head for him. So he's got a spare head. And what we're going to be looking at is that right there. You guys can see that. We got a, we got a big old hole in the front of this engine. So we're going to cut the seals off this thing. And we're going to open it up and see if we can figure out why it failed. So that'll be the next video. So until then guys, plan your race, race your plan, have a good time at the track.